fresh coffee is gone in Singapore suddenly but is there really a strike and here's the thing uh, if there is uh, it's actually not illegal eh. watch on and you'll understand here's everything you need to know about fresh coffee and its sudden exit from the Singapore market simplify and summarize for you turn the CC if you don't understand my essence you idiot so so uh, so in case you didn't know uh, the first fresh coffee outlet was actually opened in Indonesia back in January 2020 right before the pandemic hit the world shortly after that uh, they opened the first outlet in Singapore in October and then they opened so many outlets uh, it had about 30 hours in Singapore in 2021 making the city state yellow here's the thing uh, here's the thing it's actually somehow related to the other company that makes the city state pink you see ah uh, one of the co-founders came to Singapore to work as a chief marketing officer in Food Panda and so ah uh, you can say that fresh coffee ah uh, is born in Singapore uh. this is also why one of the investors ah uh, is also the investors of Food Panda Singapore uh. now before we move on to what happened to the yellow company ah uh, let's address the elephant in the room why is it called a tech enabled coffee chain so basically ah uh, robots prepare the coffee and ah uh, sala uh, sala that one is called vending machine ah uh. hey, sorry sorry bugger 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 so basically uh, the coffee is made for machines so machines drink the coffee oh still, still star uh. then why is it called a tech enabled coffee chain why 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 why, 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 why don't tell me it has an app uh, that can use technology to know customers uh, or take orders or do whatever CRM uh. that one uh, even just like coffee huh really ah uh? McDonald's is a tech and fast restaurant. Anyways, so the company grows super fast. Uh. In 2021, uh, it was uh, opening 3 hours every week and had almost 250 hours in Southeast Asia. Uh. It has a lot of VC funds too. With that securing a USD $50 million funding in 2021 and another USD $50 million funding just this year in May. But of course, uh, it was mentioned in May that they were growing the Indonesia market. Currently, it has over 90 hours in Indonesia. So what happened in Singapore? It all started when a TikTok video went viral. It showed a closed fresh coffee hour in Jurong Point. Just in case you're not aware, for those popular shopping centers managed by developers, uh, the shops cannot suka suka open or close one eh. they die die uh, have to open and close at a specific timing one if not the more management uh, will look for them so for the outlet in Jurong Point to be closed uh, it's either 5am in the morning or something is wrong uh. then the video show this so early close what's that what happened wah wah Wow. Before you go, sell out la. Got people strike, they need to go jail out la. Don't la. Let me make you smarter la, with this fact. In Singapore, a strike is not illegal unless you are an essential service worker. This is why we have a misconception that it's illegal. Cause the last strike we know of uh, was by bus drivers who are essential service workers. That was then illegal la. Okay, so this strike also illegal la. Eh, coffee is essential. Yeah, so by right, uh, this isn't illegal. Uh. But anyways, uh, the reason why you seldom see strikes in Singapore is because the unions, the government, and employers often work behind the scene to protect the workers and therefore prevent them from happening. This one is not common in other countries. Uh. Cause the three of them are uh, usually become one. But anyways, uh, this is one of the reasons why it's so peaceful in Singapore. Uh. Now, uh, later it's revealed that fresh coffee has exited the Singapore market uh, after media reports about the TikTok video. And here's the thing. Uh, they also say there were no strike. But later, uh, a union says some employees will own pay and CPF contributions. Fresh coffee say they cease operations in all 11 stores in Singapore and to further our future efforts and to double down on our most promising markets. They are liquidating uh, which means uh, they are selling off all assets uh, to pay off creditors. Uh. Now uh, no one knows what really happened uh, but one thing we can learn uh, is definitely this. Uh. We are going to see 11 more McDonald's out in Singapore. Uh. Look, 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 right. Everywhere is McDonald's, how to lose it? In the meantime, uh, do subscribe to us if you think you have learned something uh, and also watch this video uh, to be smarter.